Donald Trump said that if he's elected president, he would strongly consider appointing homophobic Supreme Court justices to the Supreme Court so that way they can overturn the landmark marriage equality ruling. Attention explains that he said if I'm elected, I would be very strong on putting certain judges on the bench that I think maybe could change things. Uh, Trump told Chris Wallace on Fox News Sunday that Trump believes that the decision should have been a state level issue. He consistently has opposed same sex marriage, but told The Hollywood Reporter last August that passing amendments wasn't going to happen. All right, so you wanna play the let's ban things I don't like game like Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. All right, well, I'm game. So how about this? Uh, I wanna ban comb overs because I think that if you reach a certain age and your hair starts to bald, then you just need to shave it. And I don't like it, so I think we should ban it. I also would like to ban intergenerational marriages, seeing that you're 69, your wife is 45. That's a 24 year difference. You're old enough to be her father. Well, I don't like that. And I think that we should ban that because I feel as though that's immoral. I think you're taking advantage of her. I think you're a creep. Let's ban it. Also, since we're violating the Constitution, uh, I would like to violate the Constitution as well. Because, I mean, if you overturn marriage equality, well, then you are violating the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. So I want to violate an amendment as well. See, I think we should just ban guns. Let's let's just, uh, you know, go back to muskets uh, because I don't like it. Another thing I'd like to ban that just creeps me out is how fathers sometimes talk about their daughters and how uh, they think that they're attractive. That... You know, that doesn't bode well with me. I think it's gross. Let's ban it. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. You know? <laughs> What's the favorite thing you have in common with your father? Either real estate or golf. Donald, with your daughter? Well, I was going to say sex, but I can't relate. Now, look, clearly I'm being facetious about banning all these things, regardless if I, you know, disagree with them or not. But the fact is that you don't get to ban things as president. You're not an authoritarian dictator. You don't just get to say, look, I think that group A, B, and C, uh, they don't have certain rights and protections. You don't get to do that. You're a rich white Christian. Uh, nobody's discriminating against you. Nobody's saying, I hate gingers. I want to ban orange people who have these ridiculous spray tans. You have absolutely no reason to be afraid when you walk down the streets. You don't have to be worried that, you know, the cops are going to arrest you. You don't have to be worried that people are going to, you know, look at you and think that you're gross if you hold hands with your partner in public. You don't have to deal with that because you have all the privilege in the world. You're a billionaire. So how about this, Donald Trump? If you don't like gay marriage, don't get married to a man. Okay, it's that simple. You don't get to pick and choose what parts of the Constitution you get to follow. So you can try to overturn marriage equality. If you think that's going to help you, then so be it. But your Republican base, even they're changing. They don't care anymore. Uh, younger Republican voters are now in favor of marriage equality. So it's time that you catch up. Get with the times. Don't be like Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz and try to go down this homophobic path. It's not a viable political strategy. And if you get to the general, you're going to take a beating for that because 57% of Americans are now in favor of full marriage equality. Human rights is not a states' rights issue. Uh, human rights is not a national issue. It's a guarantee that we should have as human beings for being born on this planet. You don't get to pick and choose that. I don't give a shit who you are. If you're a billionaire, if you are Donald Trump, if you're Jesus Christ, you don't get to violate human rights. Thanks for watching The Humanist Report. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out at humanistreport.com.